What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from one of the guys in the community, Adam Zoabi. For no gi BJJ and MMA, should I do judo or wrestling? If I had to choose one and I have zero takedown ability. If, uh, if you ask me a question, I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion on it. Why would I lie? It doesn't make any sense. Or, you know, exaggerate, or I don't really have any agendas except build this up, this community, so we could share, you know, for, uh, uh, for OGs like myself and uh, for you guys to come along the journey and uh, build something around this. I really want this to be something big because, you know, I think there's, uh, there's something missing in the YouTube uh, verse. <laughs> YouTube universe in regards to, you know, like a channel where we're talking about fitness and martial arts for older guys, mainly uh, martial arts because the fitness is just a component so that you can become better at martial arts, in my opinion. That's the way I use it. I'm also a personal trainer, but everything I do for myself is really just so that I can go beat people up in competition, not on the street, guys. So I don't uh, condone that. Uh, if you guys uh, for the OGs in here and the guys that have more experience than me, don't be shy, man. Help the guys out. They have questions, answer them. To get back to the question. The short answer, wrestling, wrestling. Because the thing is, if you're doing uh, MMA, first of all, you don't have a gi. So you don't want to be learning a whole bunch of stuff that won't be able to carry over to, uh, to MMA in terms of takedowns, right? Uh, yes, I know that old school uh, judo used to grab the legs, but that's the past is the past. The present is the present. So presently, you don't want to be going into an art where uh, there's that little thing there that you actually kind of need to you know, do double legs and all that. So definitely you want to do wrestling. And the reason for that is that because judo is actually quite complicated and hard to learn. You know, it is, it really is. It's like, there's a lot of things that go into it and it takes time. Even though judokas, when they transition over to MMA do very well because they have a lot of attributes that are, that are very useful for fighting, you know, for athletics and, and timing and speed and core strength and all kinds of stuff. It takes time to develop that shit, man. So that's why, no, if you're doing a BJJ and a MMA and you need to learn how to do takedowns, you definitely should uh, go for wrestling if you had to choose one. If you had time to do both, then sure, add that in, add judo in, but you gotta realize that judo takes time, man. It takes time to learn and wrestling, is so much faster. You can learn a, a single leg, a double leg, and all those things, um, which are directly um, carries over much easier into uh, into MMA and BJJ than judo. Um, of course, if we're talking no gi uh, BJJ, right? That's the logic behind it. Judo, you got the gi. You can't grab the legs. It takes a lot of time to learn. So why bother with that? Go wrestling. Wrestling, easy to learn. Already in your element, there is no gi. Very fast transition, so to speak to BJJ and MMA. So that's my short answer. I hope that made sense. Um, hey guys, if any of you guys have any other uh, suggestions or advice for, uh, for Adam here, put them down below, baby. All right, love you, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.